Uh, in this video, just more proofs about MK Ultra that went on from 96 all the way to 2017, and going from 96 all the way to mid 2006. About this store, the only thing I can tell you is I was not the first one. They have evaluated Americans on how they would perform under same circumstances I perform right now as a foreigners. And according to that, they would judge me and so on and so forth. Uh, which is really stupid, I think. Stupid because Americans, for one thing, were loaded with the money. Uh, on one of the audios, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna expose. There was a there is a money exchange still that I recognize everything in Zgirsh. Uh They would load themselves over there with the slots and so on. Shekels were sold. Um, British pounds and so on. A lot of the money basically touring around here like supposedly would be what I would look like but this is crazy because these people would go and buy themselves the best good is basically money can buy and me I am surviving basically not on 70 zloty per month that's a lie uh, for your information that's like 17 18 euros per month if I spend on myself, I'm gonna say just about seven euros that goes to me, it's like a lie too, because I spend about maybe the most six euros per month on myself. I spend about 25 zloty per month basically. Everything else goes for the bread, for the reparations of the stuff they have destroyed me, replacements, and I don't even catch up because I don't even know how to catch up because like I said, within nine months, three pairs of shoes were basically cut with a knife. Uh, you can catch up with a shit like this. This is a bottom line fact. One of the locations Americans worked and again, this is like a totally stupid thing because it's like no comparison, no comparison at all. How can you compare somebody that is hit in the head ungoingly uh, with directed energy weapon with a person that lives in a totally different circumstances that is not exposed to, uh, not to deprivation of sleep not to any of the factors like this actually is undergoing a real circumstances not even close to the stuff they have experienced okay nothing they didn't experience anything so i don't know i don't understand this physicians here they talked about how they're going to judge me how do they judge me based on what exactly do they judge me i don't understand them at all i don't understand anything these people talked about it's unrealistic it's stupid whatever uh, one of the locations uh, and also the church is what I'm going to do in this audio. I'm going to expose video, if you like audio and video, because I have some video too. Uh, was a store not too far from the lake here in Grotniki. I don't have to go and give you a store location. I'm going to give you like a little picture if you want. I don't even feel like doing that stuff because why would I want to push pe people in the picture? But this is quite a decent store. Um, I don't know, maybe this is about. I have no idea. Maybe this is about 100, like 100 square meters, maybe something like this. 10 by 10, 100. Something like, I don't know, I estimate. You know, something 100, 150 square meters, something like this, with everything. Not too big, like a smaller store, uh, maybe something comparable to, you would say, like a 7 Eleven, big 7 Eleven, that would be maybe twice something like this size of the 7 Eleven, something like this. And you get food, all kinds of stuff inside in there, it doesn't matter. Okay, what matters is that girl I recognized. Uh, by actually pointing out to her that she told me that she was in Germany 
Uh, then the next day I corrected her and I told her you were working here first then you work then you went to the Germany and then you returned back and she did not want to agree to that and I insisted and insisted and insisted and she admitted it. she actually did work in the store for two months then she went to Germany then she returned back this very beautiful girl one of the girls I have fallen for under MK Ultra as well uh, you would not uh, forget something like this basically uh, then there is another girl uh, and yet another girl one is administrator and another one is been there already like one of the first people uh, actually she was the first one that applied and then administrator came the second one that applied for the job but it was almost simultaneous but she was the first one the point here is that I also recognized not only also her so this is already second person that I recognized by the way you still have the same car I recognize that Honda with the uh, orange rims which I'm not sure if I ever got to ask her and the reason is because I have also recognized individual from 2017 who did not work over there but have post inside of the store on behalf of the Russians and now we are getting to the setup as if he is working in there and when I told him today that I don't recognize him I said you're probably here only since 2017 he blushed he said no I'm only here two weeks which is a perfect thing to do because he was there like uh, they say Atrapa he was there like um, like a ghost stores they appear at certain time when you come in town and they disappear then you come and you think uh, there actually was a store over there and it was no store and the same thing they do with the workers I already have explained that now there is also another lady that did this uh, Ruskis have also used a lady that is hmm the lady is all the lady um, that worked before I remember everything in retail I didn't even ask her about I can do this tomorrow in some other stores all her life she did and she told me she only was at this place working for one year uh, she did the same thing in 2017 Russians made this information uh, also in respect to her that she worked as long as uh, other ladies that this is yet another senior employee that I have to make sure I'm gonna recognize her that's what I did made a mistake uh, but then this is again not a mistake because I did recognize the other individual as you know like uh, a setup um, he blushed it was very difficult and when I wanted to find out whether the administrator lady was the second one actually uh, that the girl that I have spoken to again whose name I don't want to say um, was the first one and then the administrator lady applied as the second one uh, I was not allowed to ask this kind of question because the gentleman that was uh, here in 2017 and is working right now again since two weeks ago they completely anticipate when you're gonna pop up um, it would be like either him either or the lady the senior the, the older lady that also was the same thing in 2017 it would be always next to the girl that I wanted to ask her about it the girl that that was one of well I think the first girl maybe that worked in this company uh, and so she got intimidated and she would not give me the answer okay uh, this is the way the Ruskis work they have their people literally right now uh, when they know you're gonna go to they're gonna have one right there um, ensuring 
that the employees would not even give you information. This is how far the whole thing is going. The other lady um, that works supposedly only one year there lied to me. She said that the administrator was the first one and that the other girl uh, came and applied uh, as actually that both did at the same time. They did at the same time, but still administrator was the first one. And that's the answer I wanted, and that's the question I was not even allowed to ask, because this is how controlled this thing is. What else can I tell you? The girl that I completely identified her, according to information which I have already stated, that first she worked there for like two months, then she went to Germany, and then she returned back to the same company. This beautiful girl... No, actually, all the girls here in Grotniki, this was a... She is from here. The, the Ruski rape intimidation so bad that she used to live in Zgersh. Then what she would do is she would move to completely other side of, of Zgersh. Okay, let's say this is Zgersh, this is Grotniki, and on the other side you have another city of Zorkov. Why? Because of the Ruski Russian rape intimidate. So, um, I look, said to myself, this is actually hard for me to even talk about. That's why I don't like disclosing the identities. I don't want to do that stuff. Um, I don't even want to go and, and post the store and stuff like this. But when it comes to the Ruski Russian rape intimidate, I don't actually, I don't want to go really to the Russia ever again, really. Uh, I, I have lost the appetite to even go to Belarus, to be honest. Because of the people I'm with over there in this immigration center. Because I don't want, I am, I am disgusted, okay? I am completely repulsed, I am disgusted. This is disgusting, this is obnoxious. And I owe big time video about Mr. Kaczynski and rape issues how he actually approved this kind of stuff, how actually he craved for this kind of stuff. They, they got him at tapes and so on. And I guess that this is how gentleman engorged himself, if you want to call this whatever, a gentleman. Uh, I'm just going to give you a tape so you can hear actually the voice uh, in Polish language, confirming exactly what I have stated. Uh, and then I'm just going to go to the next, the next, the next, the next video because I did re identify neighbors and all kinds of people and situations. Um, the whole city basically, people also recognize me. Ah, before I end this video, I am also going to give you a description uh, and confirmation basically of what was done at the church which is located right next to the store. Uh, so you can understand that I was here and I actually know what exactly was added to the church, what was changed to the church, and even who contributed the money for construction of the church. Okay, so that's basically how we're going to do it. Uh, again, I don't understand how is it possible that the United Nations does not, does not interfere in this thing. Amnesty International, you all watch this stuff. European Union Court for Human Rights, what is this? What is this at all? International Criminal Court, well, what is this? What is this, like some kind of a Russian rape association or something like this? I am trying to understand what is this all about, I mean, because I don't get it. What are you protecting? What exactly are you doing? If there was a missing child or somebody that would disappear abducted or whatever or that you would have information on any kind of information on a, on a criminal activities like this the police would be triggered immediately they would trigger all kinds of uh, services police intelligence services anything possible out there to you know to protect people and so on and i am just asking myself what what exactly are you guys doing I was talking to myself today about the police and I ended up with a conclusion that actually um, yeah, I was like disappointed about all this 
talking to myself, well, what does this make sense and this and that. The thing is that it does make sense. It makes sense because the people that lost their parents, their kids, in 2010 Smolensk, the, lady, the girls, ladies that were raped, the people whose voices were never heard anywhere, seen on the internet, that had no right to say anything. You understand now why it makes sense? You care when you actually do something about it, not when you care or you worry or whatever it is that you do. This is why actually this thing matters. I thought about it and it does matter. That's why I will continue with this stuff. But for quite some time, I actually struggled. Why exactly am I even doing this stuff? Because it's just unbelievable that you would present proofs, that facts, and you would absolutely get no response from, you know, from the whole world, basically. You should. Okay, um, of course, this is another MK Ultra proof. The store is located about maybe two miles at most from our location here in Grotnik Immigration Center. I estimate between somewhere two and a half, about two and a half kilometers, I would say, something like this. Uh, one and a half, two miles, something like this, from our center. Um, everything recorded, audio recorded, was done the second day, but bear in mind that the first day I was there only for three hours. The second day, however, everything was recorded sometimes within the first three hours, I estimated my arrival to this workplace. Uh, so this is a brand new kind of a job for me because of many issues uh, this is definitely not a way for me to continue I got more than enough proofs I have proven already more than enough and I got more than enough proofs I have additional audio recordings just like this one I got to release I gotta start to release this stuff no longer search for this stuff uh, so the money is more than welcome in fact if I would have enough money right now to go on my own uh, I would have done this immediately. No way can I afford any longer to go about like this. Nine and a half months of what you have witnessed uh, on my program. Uh, I am not going to waste not even a single second. Most of the people actually would fail in circumstances like this. This is not a joke, folks. Um, Ruski Salon told me in 2017 that they're really eager to see me if at my age I can even manage to get through. Well, I think I did better than people they had here, and those are really young people, a lot of military personnel. Um, and like I've stated, without money in the pocket, uh, without dollars, without shekels, with just about maybe six euros per month, basically, is how I made it through. So, let's go on in this video. Number one, a lady confirms that she is in this store from very beginning, just about one of the eldest uh, in fact, she is the eldest employee, as I'm explained. I identify her, and I identify her friends who applied along with her just about, I think it was like a second day, something like this. I think it was a second day. Uh, she is an administrator for whom I actually think she's a sister of the owner. But I explain everything in continuation. Uh, then the third girl I identify is the girl that mentioned me yesterday. Um, therefore, the first day she was in Germany. She just mentioned that, and she mentioned Berlin. That's all she mentioned. Uh, but the memory told me that she worked at this store before she went to the Germany. Um, she went to the Germany and then, according to her, um, nothing according to her, uh, 
this is how she wanted me to see she the way she wanted me to see is that she was in the germany uh and then she worked in the store she didn't want to know me anything about that she was before this already in this store and it is commanding because i insist as you're about to hear no 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 you were working in this store before you went to germany and this is exactly the way it was uh this was very girl very highly of my interest this is a very beautiful girl she was inside of the store uh just happened to be when i was brought uh, got my definitely attention i was quite crazy about her under mk ultra germans were here too eventually they opened her the road to germany but I'm not going to say who, how, and why got her back to this very place here. Um, actually, I should say to this very same work location. Now, she's going to say no, that she did not work before in this store. It's, she just doesn't want me to say insist and insist and insist. But that, that you, in fact, you were there. You were working here before you went to Germany. And then when you came back, you worked again. But I insist so long that she actually discloses me. She only worked for two months. Well, for two months, when you are beautiful like this. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then you become point of interest for someone that will not forget that he saw you in those settings. And then the next thing... Yeah, it was this with the Germany, and then again, you were back. So, that's the stuff I actually recall. This is a very hardcore proof of my presence here in Grotniki. Even under MK Ultra, I memorized this stuff. It's a little bit more. I also remember the gentleman who was interested in her. I don't know whether the two had ever anything together or not. Yoy, I remember the whole bunch of things right now. It's coming more and more stuff that I just, uh, I am recalling. Um, the second individual who I very successfully identify um, is an individual who is only 23 years old. But, this is a big but. Individual was chosen by the Ruskis to do the stuff like this. Therefore, to appear in 2017 like a long-time employee because of his look. He looks like he is like 35 years old. And the girls you're talking about right here in this video are all except one just about like 35, like 35, something like this. 37 maybe years old. I, that's the age group I would place them in. Okay. I identify him. I did not bite uh, his little trap. I told him, you're not working here for too long, sir, are you? Maybe perhaps the most you're working here for two years. That's all I could give him. Uh, two years, that's it. Even the Ruskis wanted, they insisted that he is also just like girls, a long time employee. They could not get him pass by. He is about like this taller than myself, and I am six tall, and he is probably about, I don't know, maybe like, I don't know, maybe 190, something like this, and like really strong and beard, you would definitely give him like 35, something like this. I was quite shocked when he said like he was 23, I couldn't, if this is his real age at all, okay? Uh, and then there is like that's one, two, three, and then is a fourth individual. Fourth individual is elderly lady. This lady is about maybe I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe that she is like sixty something like this. But this is a very dynamic lady, uh, whom I did not manage to identify. Was used by the Ruskis the same way as the young man was uh, in 2017. Basically, there to convince me that was already a long time employee. Uh, when in fact, she just told me that she's working there just one year, she says. 
I'm saying this because this definitely was in 2017. So I'm just saying that. But she said one year. She said. Uh, I can tell you about her that the lady already worked before uh, in store setting, just about the same kind of a store settings. How do I know all this information? That's because, well, the girls are um, very, very uncomfortable to say anything about it. They don't like to say this um, for obvious reasons. They don't want to say anything really. It's difficult for them to go forward with it. Um, and so what I want to do is I want to thank everybody very much. The same way would go for the young man who is still there somehow to, uh, to not get out of this girl's, um, information, the, the older lady, the same way because I try to get some more information out and whenever I even approach to the girl that I would ask her is already some one of the two is already over there so they are making sure that you wouldn't say anything that you you just let's let's go You're here one of the oldest, the oldest workers. I say like 10 years, and she say yes. No, I, I know that she was one of the first. She says stuck, yes. Okay, the thing is that I am definitely determined that there were two girls for one i actually believe this was the sister of the owner so you understand my business i am thinking about that number one is the sister of the owner because this is how far it goes it goes from the minute a first time when i stepped inside in there for this one right in here i feel the same thing not that she's the sister of the owner I know that I recognized her car, Honda Civic, with rims, with orange rims. Uh, this car was like this already since from forever. Uh, 2013, for sure I remember this car. Um, I immediately knew who she was. Uh, I saw the car, I saw her, boom, I knew who she was. Um, I do go a little bit too far with the store, I exaggerate, like, like 13 years now. This store, I think this store was open like in 2010, something like this. I'm not really sure. Um, something like this, okay. Um, so, the two girls yesterday, I identified both of them, I know exactly where I am, who I, I'm dealing with. I actually identify all of them. Uh, today I just want the confirmation and like I said, I got them within less than the first day of work. Actually, not the full eight hours. Yesterday, three hours and this was done within the first three hours today. So. Yeah, I'm determined that she's like okay. Okay. since beginning over there. Okay. Bye bye, thank you. I go to the second one. I want to do this fast. It's a possibility that Drosky gave maybe like a little reward to the young man for doing this kind of stuff. That he would get some kind of credit, something like this, for phone me or something like this, but he did not succeed in any way. This is gonna quite a rock, Ruskis today. This is gonna be quite a shocker for my roommates and for the one on the first floor.
Boom. You worked here, then you went to the Germany, and then you came back to work again to this very store. She said, no, no, no. <laughs> but I go, yes, yes, I remember. I'll do this one more time. Okay, um, I don't know what she tells exactly, I still don't get it. It's in Polish, everything I do not understand. Uh, but she goes, whatever she tells. And I ask her, but it is like this or it's not, that you did work here and then you went to Germany and then you came back. And she said, yes, uh, it is. Um, and she tells, but this was only for two months. Yes, I know, for two months, but um, technically you did work here. Even if it was for two months, you did work here, then you went to Germany, and then you came back. The girl like this, you just don't forget, because this is like a really beautiful girl. Uh, she was of very high interest to me under MK Ultra, extremely high. I was very stimulated with this girl uh, in having relationship in my dreams, whatever. Yeah, and yeah, uh, Angela Merkel was here, opened her road to Germany, went to Germany, which is like I, I'm just gonna make myself clear. I'm not interested in in Germany, not even a little bit. Um, Germany have done to me nothing good. But the Germany have done to me personally like a Mount of Everest of evil. Uh, Germany basically ruined my life a lot. Ruined my life a lot to, for you to understand. Discriminated against me after everything I have done for one. I don't owe anything to Germany. Germany owes me a lot. But I don't own anything to Germany. Germany didn't do anything good for me. Nothing. Bad, the worst only. Germany ruined my life. Germany did good for one girl here that I know of. That they actually expressed interest in her because of the this Russian euphoria, this rape uh, enthusiasm. They somehow managed to stop this for her, which I am thankful, grateful uh, for what was done. But at the same time, I was told that they cannot do anything for me, on the other hand, that it's going to be I who's going to have to uh, do all the stuff you see me watching now, which is the filthiest way you possibly can imagine something like this can be done to someone you basically screw him like 24 25 years of life this is not a very nice thing to do germany also tried to whack me by the way um they would not even have parts delivered from germany for the car when they tried to kill me over there in slovenia with car plot uh as you know and so on they they created like Frau Merkel created so many problems for me, uh, blocked me in European Union court. Polish bodyguards have pulled the information, came up that they actually blocked me from like even having the ability to enter into political asylum system, something like this it was and so on. 
a whole a lot like a mount of Everest problems is what basically Germany created for me so from that point of view that I would have something like with the Germany that I would be like interesting some kind of Polish German politic or something like this I can assure you I definitely am not I am interested in compensation and basically doing my business my way is how I want to do this stuff for the Polish people with the Polish people and not for any any kind of German uh, interest or anything like this I have learned I have to say that not only have they done these things to me but they expected for me to actually bend in front of them inside of the Poland basically to get on knees while basically discriminating me and stuff like this not okay this is not okay stuff uh, I know the Pan Kaczynski is happy to hear this stuff because uh, all the German agents, including Donald Tusk, um, that are out there, you know, are a necessary evil like I am a necessary evil too because it's just that sometimes you are a German agent and sometimes you're an anti-German agent and so when you know how to lie a lot and you lie a lot and people no longer know you run mainstream media and government and everything and people don't know they don't know anymore what to what to believe what to how to see things is um, that's just a good thing you know but you know, he never said for anybody he was a Russian agent whatever but we all know who Mr. Kaczynski is, right? Let's continue. This girl, in my opinion, too beautiful for the Germanies, how I see it is. This is a Polish girl, a beautiful Polish girl, is what it is. I don't know if I did mention or not. Uh, this is girl actually right here from Grotniki. Uh, used to live in Zgersh. Came to Grotniki and changed immediately to Ozorkov because of the Russian enthusiasm into rape, if you want. Uh, she rather would commute here. Uh, then this is this is just like what Ruskis have created is just really really bad very bad stuff most of the people are afraid to talk about of course except one Okay, I have not heard this. I'll give this in continuation. A cool room. Um, I'm deliberately not using the Russians, but I play a little bit and I say Americans. These girls were not afraid of Americans. These girls were really afraid of Russians. That's why I don't say Americans and I say instead Russians. You know, like indirectly I'm trying to, you know, get maybe a verbal something from her she does not want to admit um the other girl the first one i have spoken to like the oldest employee here actually 
is afraid to go inside of the cooling room. Uh, she is afraid to go inside of the cooling room because because of everything that it was a crazy place. This place, this Grotniki place, and she was terrified by this. Um, and so the girl I have just spoken with told me on the MK Ultra how scared the other girl was. I am very sorry for that. It really hurts me. I would give anything, you know, to get these fears away from these girls. And it's why she leaves the doors open from the cooling room all the time. Uh, if you go inside of that cooling room, please do not close the door because she's going to freak out. She doesn't want doors to be closed. Okay? So... This really is why the reason, this is the real reason why. And it also tells me that this girl is a little bit more than just a beautiful girl. She's got a good soul. Let's continue. Concern for other co-workers, definitely for this girl. Always willing to help and so on. I don't push, I just try to get, maybe even I would get once. I identified a young man too. There you go. I identified a young man as well. Um, I said, you're a new man here. Maybe, because I saw him in 2017, maybe you're here for two years the most, is what I say. And he is looking at me, he is blushing at this point. He said, no, I'm only here two weeks. And so there you have it. I did that very well as well. The next thing I do, I go for the oldest lady, try to get to identify her, but things here do not go very well because with a young man she posed in 2017 on behalf of Ruskis, the idea was to confuse again. However, the lady who was in this business, I know she worked. You see, there you have it. Um, the lady, I think, is also from Mozorkov area. This one also, I think, is from Ozorkov area, from at least that direction of Ozorkov, toward Ozorkov. You see, these are maybe things I'm going to maybe get tomorrow, if I'm not going to get transferred or something like this, which probably, most probably will be the case. Uh, but this is an older lady, maybe in her 60s. Uh, very dynamic, hard-working lady. A uh, little trooper right there. Um... This is all the information, folks, I give. If I would know this kind of stuff, how the hell would I know this stuff? There is no way. Uh, the first girl whom I have mistaken as a, as a sister of the owner um, and the girl that I have suggested is like the longest working employee in this company are two friends in their 35s, something like this, 35, 37, whatever. And two friends 
who I believe both are from Ozorko, something like this, and came to apply at this very location here within like maybe a day difference, something like this. But because I have failed, um, because I have failed to, um, you know, because I said that, because I thought that she's, she is a sister, uh, I decided on pointing out the fact that, in fact, she is... She was the first one who applied in this company for the job. And that should give me edge as well. And I'm talking about the girl I have spoken with, not with the administrator. Maybe just a day earlier or something like this. She was the first one who applied. And then the other one came. That should give me a little edge um, over what you are about to hear right now. Because um, basically I... I, you know, let's hear this. Yeah? Yeah. She tells me I'm here only one year. That's what I want to find out. That's, that's what I want to find out. Because I failed here, I also want to ask her a question. Uh, which one of the two was longer? Um, either the administrator girl uh, or the other girl. That's basically what I find out. And she says they're both at the same time. And no, um, that's not the case. She was there before administrator. So that's still, I claim, I think it was about a day or two different, something like this. Actually a day the most, I remember now, a day the most. It was like a day the most difference, I think, when both applied for the job. But not the Razum. This one still was before the other one did. How do I remember this, folks? I remember this because they, they um, luckily they did tease me with the issue which one was there first, if I remember. Because the only one I was interested in between these two, these were the first two girls they pop up in this company. I was interested in administrator because administrator was beautiful. All these girls are beautiful, but administrator was more appealing to me. And I was pretty damn sure that administrator was the girl, the sister from the owner. Okay, and so she was not the sister from the owner. They laughed at me and they say, so, but the guy asks, this is how you see on that MK Ultra that was in front of me. He said, but which one of you was the first one? No, and the girl said, actually, actually, I was the one and she did uh, the same. She applied about the same day. Uh, the location, um, both of them from Ozorko area. Um, one girl, I think, in Ozorkov and the other one before Ozorkov, something toward here, something like this. Um, like I said, Honda Civic with orange rims, the girl I saw it immediately, I knew it, the other one as well. So you see, this, this is the stuff I did not even ask and I know. See, how would I know this stuff, huh? I say I was in the store, I asked because I was here in Grotniki before. I used to come here in Grotniki and I remember everything. 
she knows the thing is she's not gonna say this stuff um i am grateful already one way or the other to all of you people that you came forward at least to give me some sort of some inf confirmation about it uh but definitely i'm looking forward for the whole gear not only for grottinki to come and reveal the whole thing Okay, uh, finished at 1 o'clock, I'm out, didn't work much, I'm out, uh, the next door there is a church. Now, since I identified the store, and right next to the store there is a church where we used to go, I decided to go straight to the church, and I see some workers over there, two men, uh, they both are well acquainted, acquainted with this place um they do construction like a little whatever they do and i go right there and i want to identify the church i want to tell exactly what was that was built new what was that was old uh what was added and so on this is the stuff i want to immediately do i also have the video now i am standing right where you're going to hear it's a red a red Yes, I am standing right in front of the red, and I'm pointing the man, what you see here, what is red, here, obviously red. We are standing right there, was built new. The tower, I say, it's also new, and on the other side of the building, there is a white building where they have made, like, place. To me, it looks like a new place. Um, at best, that is a renovation that is renovated, but compared to what it was you would not even remember because it was so pitiful the whole thing place before the money they got was given to them by the british by the americans the whole construction for the church in return americans british might be maybe even germans i don't believe so british did americans did uh, they had to make the tower like in a style like a little Anglo German whatever style uh, and it was something that priests actually objected to but because they gave the money it was okay um, now the man right there is the old cat this is the cat of the cats that knew I'm gonna go the next door because they know that I want to break through this they know that I know everything, and so they know that I also don't fear that I, when I'm at a certain location, what I'm going to do is I try to go and just grab whatever I can grab to prove my point, that everybody understands that I know this place and that I get the proofs and so on. So they knew exactly that from this place I'm going to work right there, and they were right there waiting for me, believe me, waiting for me. And this smart cat tries to tell me, like, uh, I point out over there in the building, this and this and this, this was done, tower and this. And he says to me, well, wherever you see is in red. And I said, but I am saying, I'm pointing out with my hand in this thing in front of us, it is, we are standing right there. And the other man actually says, yes, he is pointing out at this. And then he says, yeah, okay, uh, I know what I am talking about, I was here, I know the priests, I know this place, I know the church and so on, I know a lot of things, okay, so let's just continue with this. Okay, excuse me, I get a little bit upset, I got a little bit upset, 
because I was expecting the gentleman, since I showed with the hand, you know, to say, yeah, that is correct. That is correct that uh, what you are pointing at was done, da 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 and instead of that, he tried to be smart with me. He tried to be smart with me and says, whatever is read is what was added to the church. So basically what he's saying, because he knows I am audio recording this stuff, he's basically screwing me up by saying this. You understand that? Why I get upset? Of course I get upset. He knows what I'm doing, and instead of giving me a green light, instead of saying, yes, what you are pointing is, da 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 he tries to give me like a lesson, uh, like da 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 da, and maybe thinks that I'm gonna say, oh, I see, or something like this. And I go, no, I say, I point it out, I'm pointing out, I point it out, and the other gentleman actually says, it's true, he pointed out. Because they try to get so smart, folks. This isn't easy. When you mention Kaczynski, and Kaczynski is using divide and conquer, basically church, he's using a church to split the nation into his issues. This man does not know what is law. And it's a lot of priests, unfortunately, that see money as the ultimate solution to, uh, I guess, to Christianity, which I can understand. But still, church is, should be about higher issues. It should, we should serve through the church, we should save, we should serve to the higher issues and not the interests like that. So these are a big interests right there that are involved. So I can kind of understand, but I'm not happy about this stuff. Okay, what I'm going to do is, I am going to go ahead and I will amplify this a little bit like this, not much. So it can be a little louder. But really, uh, you know, uh, this is the kind of a stuff that, that really gets me. Uh. Okay, let's go. This is right next door to this store. I say, I was hoping I'm going to talk to a priest. I'm trying to identify who is from where. Lives there 20 years. I'm asking you, you know this church, do you? Americans, 
Nije htio tako, on si u Popolsko fisko to je zrobljeno. Ali to oni dali sve njonze, mi mu ovio, može biti, može ne. A? Znači da se pamijentam, fisko to je što je... Ali pamijentam ja ili ne pamijentam fisko? Ali mogu je, da fisko to je zbudavano, to je dženki ludjom, što je tutaj fisko se starali o to. Przepraszam. Dženki mieszkańcom. Ja. I leksnikom jest to wszystko wybudowane. Ja, 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 ja. Okay, the guy tried to be very, very smart with me. He goes on and he says that the people who came on vacations and stuff like this, Polish people gave the money and stuff like this. Back then, the people didn't have money for anything at all. Uh, these are just a hard line facts. Uh, the money was for this church, for renovation of the church was given by the British, by Americans. They gave the money. This is just the way it is. So who the hell is going to say? He confirms everything I say. They confirm everything I say. That I don't know about the stuff I am talking about. How can anybody say I was not here? I don't know about the stuff I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am <laughs> laughing at him. I was having. I say to him at one, at 1 p.m. I said, "Have a good night." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. People know me, and I know what I am talking about. The next thing what I can do is basically what you are about to see on a video. I'm going to point you out immediately. Yeah, I am like, yeah, just try, just try, because I know what I am talking about. Nice try that did not go through. Alright, let's see this here video. So we're gonna take this one here. I kind of hate this because I was gonna go and do some other stuff too. But oh right, since I am here, and then let's get this thing finished. Let's see if this is the one. There you go. This is the church from Grotniki. Okay, this is this is the tower I was talking about. This is the new area they have added to uh, that yellow thing that you see. This was the old part of the church. And what is interesting, this was completely completely rebuilt. This thing. Okay, uh, there is more stuff I know about this church. There is more stuff I know about this church that no priest told me officially don't know nothing supposed to know nothing but there is more stuff i know about this place the thing folks is that i cannot go on like this and talk about the stuff like this because why i cannot do the stuff like this i can no longer do the stuff like this there is more stuff i know and it's a stuff i'm not going to talk about because they want me to talk about all i know about what was done and this and that and then when I'm going to tell this whole effing thing about what was done and what was not done, staff members told me this, MK Ultra staff members, do not tell everything you know. They're going to come up with the God knows third kind of questions, whatever, and then you're not going to know anything. You're not going to have nothing left in your sleeve, basically. You see, you get the point. I'm going to re continue to release the audience and stuff like this, but stuff like this, what I'm doing right now, I will not do it till I'm actually asked questions, if I'm going to be asked questions. If I get through, whatever, and then I can tell more about the city and about the whole thing. This thing here definitely was built at the same time as what you see the red tower this was, was actually well. the last thing that was rebuilt um, if it was not built, built it was rebuilt big time I can tell rebuilt. you that I can tell you this um, and what you see what you see right here you see right here let's go like this I can tell you this um, boom you see this thing here right here they were put in the summertime benches and I remember you would have Americans and British, they would actually, they were addicted to go to this church because of this Muslim Russian people. 
uh, they were so terrorized by this Oshrodek because they had to deal with these people here. Uh, when they saw me under the terror, when they saw me under this kind of circumstances, and having me under complete control, this MK Ultra staff members, it was a, such a terror for them, they no longer knew, they were so terrified alone. And let me tell you, these are America best, I think, Israel best, um, British best, whatever, whatever it came from, they were the best. And just by watching me, just by watching the circumstances I was exposed to, they were so terrified, so horrified that some of these good men, they would work and give their wages, which were like nothing, close to nothing. They would give them uh, all to the church. Of course, these guys had money on the side, okay? And, but they were diligent, hardworking Americans. Some Israelis too. British, now actually here there was no Israelis. You're talking about Americans, British. Um, and they would actually sleep on these benches in the warm summer nights, rather than they would even go inside of this immigration center. Uh, there was a guy that was loudly crying when he would go inside of the church like a baby. Okay, you understand the circumstances I was in. You get this. Let's say you were a staff member. Let's say you were MK Ultra staff member. Let's say you were an MK Ultra staff member. Just by watching me, you watching me, what I have gone through, the terror, the threats, the number of the threats, you would feel like something bad is actually going to happen to you. Like they are effing you around. There were guys, MK Ultra staff members, that felt that they are effing them around, that actually they are using me. Uh, for the kind of purpose that all of a sudden at any time something is going to turn against them and they're going to actually disappear. Something is going to happen to them. And you have this Muslim people. It was a total confusion for everybody. Everybody was terrorized. You have no idea. You have no idea what this was. Okay? Except one person. There was only one person. I was a terrorized at times too, but the courage, my courage, um, I don't even know where I got one from. <laughs> but this is this is real. It's comical. It's real, but this is real. This is real. This stuff is real. <laughs> um, and what you see on this side here, this thing. The whole thing was rebuilt for the priests. This is what this actually looks like. Was the whole thing was built new? No, this was actually reconstruction. I remember, but it was so poor, so shitty. I can already tell you what. This was poor in a super poor condition, much smaller than this. Um, obviously, the building. It, I you would not even notice one. This was like a crackpot. This building. Uh, it was actually also added good portion of the building. Roof is new. Everything is new. I think I would have to go see a little bit more this thing. For that matter, I'm gonna have to maybe talk to the local priest. Where they stay? Yeah, you think I would know this kind of stuff if I wouldn't be here? The money for the tower. Uh, I understand. Not for the tower, for the church, the innovation of the church. The tower by was Americans, given. By Americans, by the British, that would the tower come was here. They were under a lot of stress like because sort of gift. in the center, in the Oshrodek, apparently they see more than Russian. They have seen Muslims in this Russian people and they were stressed out. Uh, and this was for them like. Um, there like was kind moral, of like hysterical when they would go here. They, you know, they, they place would like where fell they apart would inside of the church. Get themselves somehow together. They were completely under the stress. The only person that was not under the stress and still is not under the stress 
That is the one is talking to the camera right now. Yes, actually, this is true. Um, it feels like these people were under tremendous stress because I saw them crying. I saw them break like a babies. Um, I don't. I'm not surprised. Uh, I don't know how psychologically this, what kind of a psychological impact this would have on a person uh, when you are exposed to this kind of circumstances. Keep in mind, this is a foreign country. You are away from the U.S. You are in the Eastern Europe all of a sudden. You're learning new language, and you see the man from yet another country who speaks English that is subjected to tremendous stir here by these people. As well as mine, you don't know if something bad cannot happen to you. So, um, personally, I would congratulate this man anyways on their job. They did a very good job for me. They helped me out. Uh, they did enliven themselves in my situation a lot. And it was a lot thanks to them. Not everything. They also had a tricky scenarios. They also tried to favor Germans and get me out of here for Donald Trump. So nobody would be liable for anything financially and stuff like this. Not for anything, but they tried, they tried all kinds of stuff it was. But it's a good stuff. It's a, it was a good input. I learned a lot from these people, one way or the other. Not that I would have done it any different ways, just maybe, I don't know. I would, probably some things I would. So that's all for this video okay uh thanks for watching uh till next time of course this is mk ultra proof what else this possibly could be today the journalist was looking for me as i said at the beginning of the video um this was a local uh to him too some stuff pertaining related to mk ultra he is a journalist, however, and I am not certain. It was in 2017, keep in mind, and so therefore I am not certain whether I should, what kind of approach I should take. Should I take approach toward the one you told me who you are about your identity, or I should just pretend I know nothing, see nothing. You see, this was the 2017, right? So. You know, this is what the Ruskis have done. I should say this is what you have kind of done to yourself. Okay, maybe not if you're going to come forward with. Uh, then the lady told me inside of the immigration center there was a British a reporters that were here, but they would not let them inside. But I don't think this was related to me. Anyways, that's all for this video. You can see the date and time right there, May 8, 2019. Well done, thank you very much to everybody. Next. All right, I want to correct myself. I want to correct myself. Um, the girl, the senior girl uh, at this company, it's a younger girl. I'm not talking about the older one. I'm talking about a younger girl um, that has been with this company since beginning. Uh, it's basically, it's like this. I have observed uh, her, uh, I realized when she went inside of the, I see this is yet another girl. Uh, one I have identified so well that, actually two girls that I have identified. One related to the German issue and then another one that started as one of the first employees in this company. She would, so, so this, one of the oldest employees, she would not even like um it's not a freezer it's just like a cool room where you keep salad and, you know perishable stuff uh and so i <laughs> remembered this very well i i said because they were here americans no 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 i wanna that's what i want to that's why i said i want to correct myself it's not about americans it's about the russians it was about russians everything was about the russians she didn't have a problem with Americans. Everybody, every girl had a problem with the Russians. Folks, you have no idea what this Grotniki here was. Um, what the situation was also in Zgersh and Watch, what went on here. 
And it seems like since a lot of this stuff happened in 2017, that Ruskis believe, well, we have this Kaczynski political party that is in the seat again. Um, a so-called law and justice PIS party. It seems like that uh, they just just don't back off. They they like believe that this is like uh, Poland uh, slash a favorite Russian rape destination or something like this. It's not gonna work like this. She was inside of the fridge, and uh, I'm gonna I will not forget the other girl. She is beautiful, but also very concerned for other people. Girl, who told me actually warned me about this stuff that she does not want to go inside of that cool room that does not want to have the doors closed to make sure not to close the doors if she's in there whatever uh, i mean when i was thinking about the stuff like this i was just like wow i got shivers really this is this is bad as bad as it gets it doesn't get any worse. Uh, I might not even be seen positive by these girls. Um, because I'm so direct. But it was so many girls. Uh, the stuff have happened to. That I call the people of Grotniki. There was a journalist today. Who wanted to meet with me. But would not announce himself prior to arrival and would not also wait for me at one o'clock as we had an arrangement to meet outside of the store uh, so he would not stick to that and uh, he was not there i went about my business uh, his concern was uh, well like what is my view about the grotniki my view about the grotniki is actually it's going to be, I'm going to have my point of view, my view it's going to be on Grotniki. When I'll actually get um, a little bit more than confirmations of um, whom the have I recognized. When I'll actually get the confirmation from the people that I am a real person who was here, brought here and going from the US for no less than um, four consecutive years. And then for a yet another 11 years, here and there, um, when you're going to actually take a charge of your country, when you're going to actually take a charge of the little city of your country, when you're going to say, um, this is the way it is, this is our country, and you're gonna you're gonna behave according to the law of this country you're gonna respect the women especially more than anybody else that's when i'm gonna give you my view my friend journalist i'm also a journalist imagine that uh when you're gonna do this kind of a stuff then i'm gonna tell you what my view is on grotniki because i understand that a lot of bad stuff happened here uh, I am I just happen to be here right now I told the world what's going on what happened here uh, and once I see you standing up for yourself for the most precious thing that is in this world which are females then I'm gonna give you the view on Grotniki okay let's make a deal about that like this okay this is this is the tower i was talking about this is the new area they have added to uh that yellow thing that you see this was the old part of the church and what is interesting this was completely completely rebuilt this thing this thing here definitely was built at the same time as what you see the red tower was as well um if it was not built it was rebuilt i can tell you that i can tell you this um and what you see on this side here this thing 
The whole thing was rebuilt for the priests. This is where they stay. Yeah, you, know, you think I would know this kind of stuff if I wouldn't be here? The money for the tower, uh, I understand, was given by Americans, by the British, that would come here. They were under a lot of stress because in the center, in the Oshrodic, apparently they see more than Russian. They have seen Muslims in this Russian people and they were stressed out. Uh, and this was for them like um, like a moral, you know, place where they would get themselves somehow together. They were completely under the stress. The only person that was not under the stress and still is not under the stress, that is the one is talking to the camera right now.